Hey, what's up? This is Atomic Swift. Welcome back to another one of my videos. This time I'm going to make a video uh, showing how to make a Windows 10 virtual machine, just in case maybe you wanted to. The reason I'm making one is all these uh, installations I do, you know, I'd rather not have to uninstall them off of my main machine, so I'll just install them in a virtual machine. So that way it'll just be easier for me to get rid of them from there as opposed to installing them in my main uh, PC. We'll just install them in a Windows 10 virtual machine. <clears throat> so what you want to do first, of course, is you want to get a VMware Workstation. This is VMware Workstation 15.5. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit File and then New, New Virtual Machine, Typical. And then uh, do the... Um, Actually, you know what? I guess, yeah, we could just install it right now. Um, let's see. So let me just go here, here, there, and there we go. And we just won't worry about the product key for right now. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll just have it log in automatically, it doesn't really matter. Yes, and then let's see. We're actually going to take the uh, VMware, the actual uh, virtual machine image, and we're just going to put it uh, virtual, that drive virtual machine, click next, search by blah, blah, blah. And then maximum disk size, we're going to do. Uh, actually, I'm not going to be installing a lot of games. We'll just do 150 gigs. And we're going to store it as a single file. If you store it as multiple, it can uh, mess with the performance of the virtual machine. Hit next. We're going to customize the hardware. So we've got processors 2. We're going to set it to 4. Oh, wait, no, no. We're going to set it to 1 processor four cores because I have an eight core uh, CPU Intel Core i9-9900K um, we're gonna set the the RAM to 16 and that would yeah 15.6 so 16 gigs of RAM because I have 32 uh, should be pretty safe to set it to half of whatever your RAM is and then you just click finish it's going to create the disk. Now you just give it a second here. So this will just be easier for me because like I want to make a video about Doom Eternal. I I purchased the game through uh, Steam, so I obviously don't want to reinstall a cracked version when I already have the game actually installed so it'll just be easier for me to install it on this uh, virtual machine let's just give it a second here it's reserving 150 gigs of space on that drive alright now See now you get there it is right there Windows 10 I believe it's booting it already to install Windows yep there it goes Windows 10 and the cool thing about Windows 10 is he, uh, this is my, uh, an actual disk image that I have because I actually do have a legit copy of Windows 10 that I purchased from Microsoft before Windows 10 came out but you can download ISOs from Microsoft install them and you never have to activate them I mean it'll sometimes it'll tell you to but if you don't, you can still use all the features of Windows 10. Alrighty. So we're going to do... It's Pro. So we're going to go Pro. And it's going to copy the files. Alright. Getting the files ready for installation. Yep, 
Yeah, but just in case you're not aware, it's been about two weeks here in Las Vegas. We're still on uh, basically quarantine, um, stay at home, blah, 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 whatever. So, you know, that's when you come up with stuff to fill your time, which to fill my time, I was like, well, how can I make these videos quicker and not have to worry about uninstalling the games off my main desktop and blah, blah, blah. Well, this right here, virtual machine. <clears throat> yeah, luckily Windows 10 installs really quick off a virtu uh, virtual disk image. I'll have to download updates though, because this is uh, if you if you couldn't see the uh, image I have is from uh, version 1511. I believe right now they're on build 1909. Come on! I really hope everybody's. Having a good time staying at home. It's hard to find stuff to do to uh, pass the time. I played a shitload of video games. I'm currently at about 56 hours into uh, Fantasy Star Online 2 on Xbox One. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing with my time. I'm paid to sit at home and play Fantasy Star Online. Okay. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Mm. Yeah, right now it's going to... Oh, I wasn't aware it... In, oh, God damn, it's been a while since I've installed Windows. I didn't know it installed updates. Updates over the internet? No. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, right? Now, I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of updates. Um, when installing a virtual machine, I mean, or, uh, you know, Windows on a virtual machine, obviously, it's a fresh build of Windows. You know, there's going to be updates. There's going to be, um, you're going to have to install your graphics drivers. Um, VMware, with a lot of this stuff, installs generic drivers. But in order to get the full use out of your, like, in, your NVIDIA graphics card or whatever, you're going to want to install the uh, like NVIDIA uh, graphics uh, drivers. You're going to want to go to AMD's website and install their drivers. <coughs> oh, that's some bad. Oh, that was a cough. Was... Oh, man. Fucking coronavirus. Okay, so here we go. Getting ready. Getting ready. Come on. It takes just a second. I'll tell you, this installs a lot quicker than uh, previous OS's used to. I remember installing Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows uh, Millennium, Windows XP. I mean, it took like 60 minutes to install an OS. Now with the faster hardware, uh, SSD drives especially, faster CPUs, you know, you can install shit a lot quicker. Almost there. We're almost there. And then uh, f from here, once we get into the OS, I'm just going to show you the number one thing to do is to install VMware tools um, immediately the first time you boot. Well, you don't have to do it immediately, but you'll notice the uh, performance difference once you install VMware tools, which I'll walk you through doing on this uh, build of Windows. And then from then on, I'm going to just cut the video off because. You know, if you've ever installed anything on a PC before, you know the steps to go from there. You know, go download your Google Chrome, your, you know, WinRAR, you know, all this crap. So, okay. And, you know, basically all the normal stuff you would do to get a PC up and running, you know, after you install uh, VMware tools. So, there you go. We're happy you're here. Well, I'm happy too. But we're going to look in the device manager, well, control panel, whatever, and see just, you know, what it did not install. Um, I don't think I've ever installed Windows 10 on a virtual machine, but uh, these newer versions of VMware, I would imagine there's probably generic drivers, you know, inside a VMware uh, workstation to handle most stuff.
Okay. Oh, and look at that. Down here, easy install is installing VMware tools, so you don't even have to do it. I think it just did it right now for you. So that's cool. You don't even have to uh, install VMware tools manually. And uh, like I said, this is uh, VMware tools 15.5.0. It automatically installs, which is pretty cool. Automatically installs uh, VMware tools. And see from here. Oh, shit. Click in there. Oh, crap. Um, that's right, connect. No, 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 not that. Oh, okay, there we go. Let's make sure we got internet access here. Yep, from there, we'll just check something here. Um, go to control panel. Um, go to... Oh, that shit's lame. I forgot that. Um, there we go. I could have just typed device manager and search product. Okay. I could have just, uh, you know, did that instead of what I just did right there. But yeah, see, it's got uh, OneDrive is updating to the latest version already. Yeah, see, it's got network. It's got pretty much ev everything. I mean, I'm sure, um, yeah, see, VMware, SVGA, you know, you want to go. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so you want to go to NVIDIA.com, install the, the, you know, the graphics driver for that. And you're basically just working from the point where you have a fresh install of a PC. So, But anyway, that's step-by-step step how to set up a uh, virtual machine of Windows 10 inside Windows 10. You know, just in case there's stuff you want to do that you don't want to do on your main operating system. You can create a virtual machine like this. It's really nice. and Yeah. But. Oh, no, no, no. Not that. Um. Oh, that's right. You got to do Control Alt Insert. Just wanna, I'm just curious here. Let's see. Um. Yes, yeah, so we'll update that in a second there, but. But yeah, see, so it's gonna. Yeah, see, it's showing the normal uh, CPU. It's got access to four of the cores <coughs> out of the eight. And uh, like I said, uh, 16 gigs of my 32 gigs of RAM, it's only using 1.5. And uh, like I said, you just go from there, setting up a PC like you normally would. And uh, yep, so uh, that's my video. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all likes, comments, subs. And as always, bye for now.